and Scotty's trained several times, um, but just great. But me and Legs trained the most. Me and Legs were the, the most most trained guys out there. We, I mean, I mean, I mean, together, hmm. you know. So, um, but but Scotty, uh, he 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 was a freak. I mean, eighty pound eighty pound dumbbell laterals, and a lateral ain't like this. It's with your elbow up, you know, with the eighty pound dumbbell right here. That's that's the lateral. Because, you know, there's three muscles in your shoulder. And people don't realize that. They think there's shoulders. Well, you got your front delt, you got your rear delt, you got your, your medium delt, you know, you got your middle delt. So there's three muscles. To your sh- so shoulders really are and should be your hardest workout. But he was a freak on everything. But Lex, believe it or not, overall was the most impressive strength guy. I'd ever seen. I would have thought with Lex, he would, would have gone for higher reps because he was always, you know, slimmer and more cut. Right, right. But yeah, but he, he just, um, I don't know. It just, it just, um, you know, like I said, like, like for example, you said bench press. Me and Lex bench press a max one time in the last 30 years. And um, and we still to this day are mad at ourselves for doing it because you could have tore a peck or anything and been out of the game for a while, you know. What was the number? What was the number you pressed? We did we put, we put four hundred five on, which is four wheels on each side, and the bar actually is doing the like the cartoon character where the bar's like bowing. It really does that at four hundred five. And I didn't know that. So I, I was real, I'm real strong on chess and always have been. And, um, but I remember I went first and I got it like four times and a little help on the fifth kind of thing. Mm-hmm. He came out and just did 10, like, he, he was just a freak, man. He, he was strong in every body part, everything that, you wanted to do, he could outdo you in it training wise. And I mean, like one day I told him, I, this guy that was at it, that trained at his gym, got his pro bodybuilding card. And his, the guy's name was Piam. And I said, Hey, man, I said, Hey, uh, Piam got his pro, pro card today. He said, and Lex being Lex in the old days, Lex ain't Lex no more. Lex is Lawrence Fole now. And I love him either way, but he's just much more humble, much more sweet, and just lets things, you know, go that we shall let go. And, but he, um, um, uh, I said, dude, I said, the guy got his pro car, and he goes, Lex is looking at him, and Lex goes, he's too short. And I went, Lex, I said, easy. I said, for starters, it ain't like I'm a skyscraper. And he goes, you're acceptable. (laughs) That's Lex Luger. (laughs) And not a smile on his face, not joking, nothing. He was being dead straight up. Did Lex ever enjoy himself during his wrestling career? Or was he always just dead? straight just arrogant let's say um no we had fun we had oh my god we we did things like you know who could bring the cool who had the coolest shirt and we'd hide our shirts and our luggage till we got ready to go out and go you know okay we'll go do it on three one two three and see who had the coolest shirt you know so Lex was a blast, man. Lex was a big part of my life and always will be. I love him to death. Yeah, I'd love to interview him as well. It's, it's so, the 180 in his personality, as far as I can tell, I've never met the man, is, right. is quite incredible. Oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, the deal with what he's gone through, to look to be the total package Lex Luger to your, you look 90 in a, in a, in a wheelchair. I mean, bro, that's that's hard to swallow, bro. 
it bothers me to this day. It, it, it really bothers me. Give me, uh, if you can think of one more off the top of your head, give me one more classic Lex Luger story of just how he was oh, in the I, back. I got, I got a great one. I got a million of them. He was stretching. I'm waiting on the couch in, in the lobby, like a, the where everybody signs in and all that. And for some reason, we're doing chess, but for some reason, he was stretching his hamstring. And I, I'm like going, what's right, man? Shit, I've been staying here. I've flirted with all the girls. I, I'm done. But let's, let's train. And he had his foot up on the counter. And, and keep in mind, everybody that worked for Lex knew him, knew how he was. He was the guy that did He's too short, you're acceptable. So I tell somebody that that knows Lex, they laugh because it's, oh my God, this price is Lex. And, but he um, was stretching his hamstring one day, I was on the couch going, what the hell is he doing? And some guy, which no matter who it is, that's got a membership at your gym, okay? Think about that. $50 a month membership. He goes, Hey, Lex. And everybody just went and slowly started getting out of the situation because it wasn't going to be good. And, and Lex goes, Swear to God, my life, Lex goes. He looks behind him. He looks back at the guy and he goes, are you talking to me? And he goes, yes. He goes, my friends call me Lex. He goes, and you're not my friend. And I just went, I'm trying to get under the couch at this day. <laughs> I'm trying to get under because I'm the, I'm the happy Marcus Bagwell. Hey, guys, what's going on? And Lex is the you know, towering through, coming through at 6'6", 280, you know, shredded. And I, I got it. You know, I got it. I loved it. And we always called ourselves in the one percentile. <laughs> and we are, you know. I mean, um, you know, when you see a guy with a really good body and he happens to have a good face and to go along with it, I mean, you're in the one percentile of the nation, of the world. And so we always say one percentile, brother. Not to 1%. correct you, but wouldn't you be in the 99th percentile if you were in the top one uh, percent? What now? Isn't the one the one percentile the lowest one percent? I thought it was 99th no, percentile. No, no. It's, it's like, um, in other words, there's only one percent of the world that looks like us. Yes, Absolutely. That that's what that's where that comes from. So that's why it's that number. 